Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV, recording in HK on my phone. And uh, well, Disney sing along songs. Yes, it's Christmas. That's the disc I used to play to my little boy. And well, the machine is very, very old. And Tony here <laughs> has just fixed it. It's a man from Video Tech. Now, for those of you who don't know who Tony is, well, first off, Google Magnavision Leonard Nimoy and find the original advert for the birth of Laserdisc. That is a machine by Philips. Tell me about this machine, Tony. What about uh, well, it's a VLP 600. They did it with and without remote control. Out of a helium laser. And it came out, ooh, one of the first machines, really, basically. I think it was 1978, so and in that region. Some of the stuff it can do was cooler than the stuff the modern machines could do in terms of forwards and back and check every single frame of your yeah, football you game. Yeah, you could flick open the lid. And there was a... Wow, look at that. Platter went on there. It was a single side play. Yes. And um, the laser came in and out tangentially. Awesome. Um, what a piece of kit. Made a bit of noise when it played, but they were quite good machines. They worked very well. And it was the pretty much the forerunner to the Pioneer range, which then came out. And obviously they took over the baton, produced the 2950 as the final one, bar one. There was the 925, which came out after that. But that was one of the very late machines, which was a double side play. Um, none of these had AC3 as standard until the 925, which was pretty much the last one. And just to throw in for people who don't know, AC3 is when the channels went yeah, left Kodak. and right behind you. And that disc is true lies, isn't it? Yeah, it is indeed. That's uh, Audio Kodak. I was flown to Three. Holland by Kenwood to listen to a few seconds of the Merv missile changing channel <laughs> behind you. It was awesome. And then obviously all the mods that we did, a whole range of mods really. Amazing. We did AC3 RF output. Um, we did uh, YC, which was uh, Super VHS. Um, we were, did a disc tray illumination for the 925. We did disc tray, sorry, that was an all-off disc tray illumination for a range of models, which sat above the door. And as you opened the door, it illuminated the disc. Pioneer brought something out similar to that on their machine. using pro cinemas, you don't want to do it. Yeah, so you can see what you're doing. Uh, we moved on then to uh, processor modifications. We did uh, 5.1 modifications for Yamaha, Denon, Kenwood, those types of uh, product. And then we worked on the Cyrus AV Master in conjunction with Cyrus, and we produced the uh, 5.1 audio input, with, uh, which was controllable by the remote control. Um, and that basically interfaced with the uh, electronics that was already in the unit. And this was about there, machines really. that were fabulous and expensive, but nevertheless, yeah. manufacturers had left stuff out or. Much. There's the, the original chips that were in there, which we removed. We built this module, which dropped in place. Wow. And then it all worked seamlessly. Uh, and there was the front of the unit. You could just see a little tiny green lead on the top, which was the indication it had been done with the uh, multi-pin socket at the bottom. So elegant, because you guys were legendary. As well as players, though, amplifiers too. There's an extra little yellow button you told me about oh, on the front yeah, of this Yamaha. Yeah, that's the Yamaha 3090. Um, this button at the top here was the button that you pushed to go to 5.1 and you pushed it and it turned yellow and if you pushed it again it went green which was 6.1 discrete or you could use it for an EX mode which re-established the um, rear centre channel. So separate amplification channels but that gave it discrete yeah, it gave it processing in a world that was so expensive to have just dumped on it. 6.1 discrete which yes, was basically um, three speakers at the back, three speakers at the front and a subwoofer. And we were up to 11.2 now and we yes. moved on. But... Fully object based and of course the late, great Bob Tomalski. Yeah. Greetings. Yes, indeed, yes. And that was a Have he handed you award that? we were pleased to receive in recognition of some of the work we've done over the years. So, uh, well, there's so much more we could do, but with a bit of social distancing, and you can hear I'm muffled as heck for good, solid, masked-up reasons. Yeah. Video tech. And I'm such a lucky bloke. This is not a thing that you can get done. It simply isn't a fit in their world right now, but anymore. But I'm going to find out. If there's any folks out there fancy archiving heaps of machines. And anyway, we'll see. But Tony, thank you so so much. It's a pleasure. Unbelievable. Such a happy man. <laughs>